Welcome one and all to the amazing video game. I don't even know what my accent is, man. It's like hardcore Canadian, I guess. So I'll wait for notifications to go out. But uh, I thought that we would actually hop on the test server today because the test server is actually available today. I don't know why it's been offline for me for so long. There's not really anything to discuss, as I'm sure I'll repeat many times as people start pouring in. Not many things to discuss in terms of like content or anything. Uh, they have been updating the uh, test server with some stuff, but nothing substantial. It's these weird skull ones, right? Yes. Okay. And then... Dear YouTube. Lots of stuff. <laughs> I mean, honestly, notifications probably aren't going to go out for most of you guys just because I already posted too many videos today. Ha ha. There's a few of you, though. What up? Dude, now I want Ascend in every video game. Seriously. Okay, uh... I don't even know where to put this portal down, yo. I guess over here. I don't know if uh, any of you guys are on the test server and want to come out to this, but I'll do the first portal myself, it seems. Just because, who cares? You know what? I'm gonna do it up here. Just because. Ugh. Why, why are there danger signs? Now, unfortunately, uh, as you guys didn't see on camera when we ended up doing the video talking about this, you have to do three portals first. <laughs> because the normal delves are still here, and it sucks. I wish that they were replaced. Monoliths. Okay. Uh, also, let me know if you notice frame dips and stuff. I'm not noticing any issues on my end, but I am rendering videos out right now at the same time that I'm playing, and sometimes it causes issues with OBS. But yes, hi gamers. Whoops, that's already done. Also, what about OBS not working, Pastel? Hopefully I don't look as tired as I probably look. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't feel tired, but I have been up all night. It's just taking my entire CPU. Ah, yes. I know that there is a solution to that, but I don't remember what it was because when I dealt with that problem, it was years ago. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what could be going on if you open Task Manager Pastel, do you notice your CPU is like just being over drained or bottlenecked? Because it might be unrelated. Yeah, but streaming, so th that's the thing though, Voodoo, is we might end up having some frame issues and stuff just because OBS might have frame drops just because it has to, you know, render out the game and stuff at the same time. But I would be dealing with issues if I was recording and rendering at the same time, which is why I don't usually re uh, render stuff when I'm recording because then it's very, very, like, intensive on my PC, but streaming on the other hand, that's internet. That doesn't really do much in terms of performance. Okay, it's OBS then, okay. Then yeah, look up, I don't know, OBS memory leak or something. Whoops, I'm supposed to be killing things. I gotta pay attention. I'm so used to doing delves with you guys where I just backseat with you. God. I got it. All right. I'll admit that even though it's almost been a week, I'm still just sitting here thinking about Mario RPG, man. <laughs> I can't get over it. Everything I do, I just keep counting down the days. Like, I just, I every time I start feeling like, you know, I don't know. 
It just, it brings me to an instant place of happiness. Is chat broken for you, Potato? I'm not seeing any issues, unless some stuff is being blocked, which is just YouTube. That's normal, it's not broken if it happens all the time, right? It's a feature. Oh, okay, Pastel, yeah. So you're only putting like 20% into trying to resolve it, yes. All right, this is it, gamers. This is it, just kidding. I think we still got one more. Uh, wait, why am I even changing my tomes? We're on the test server. Oh, it is here. Okay, sweet. Beautiful. Maybe we'll actually see the portal. Um, another thing too that is disappointing, but doesn't really matter because we're on the test server anyways. Uh, two things that the devs overlooked. One is apparently there are some major issues going on with these shadow towers and they've disabled the merchants inside them for now, which I don't know if there's, I don't know what the actual reason is. They were very vague about it. Um, the other big thing is they've been slowly fixing Fluxian. Apparently his UI was broken and everything like that. <laughs> but Luxian's here this week, and so Fluxian isn't on the test server. So it's like, we, we can't even test him. Like, it's just very, very strange. But anyways, now you guys can uh, admire the beauty. And maybe we'll end up finding one of those stupid uh, chests that requires a key. And see whether or not uh, we can actually craft a key. I mean, I picked these up even though we don't have the merchant, just because there is an odd chance that we might be able to get, like, one of the items today. We'll see. I'm not really going into it with any goals specifically. It's just, uh, hey, let's try. Let's play the game. Oh, monoliths are in this area as well. Okay, so they can just have normal objectives. All the more reason, have this replace normal delves, please. Also, yeah, hi guys. Yeah, I'm assuming again, as usual, notifications ain't going out because I'm doing my job wrong. Haha. <laughs> you want to know how YouTube expects me to do my job? Upload one video a week so that notifications actually go out to everybody. There's secret locations. What can I say, though? I'm a gamer. I'm just playing way too many things. I don't care if it sinks the channel's views. <laughs> I'm going to keep posting, damn it. <laughs> Man, this place looks so good. Can we please just have this be the normal delves? Oh my God. It's so good. So good. Ah, uh, yes. See, there you go. So I, I've, I've talked about it many times before in streams and I don't want to bore you guys with the details, but no joke, the way that YouTube works is it's trying, like basically because I'm putting up so many videos, YouTube itself is trying not to bombard you with notifications from me, which is why usually you'll get the notification for the first video of the day and then none of the other ones because there was a lengthy enough period of time, which doesn't make any sense to me. So basically what I'm saying is if you guys want notifications from me, you're gonna have to unclick the bell on every other channel you're subscribed to except for me. <laughs> and even then it's probably not gonna work. But I don't know, man, it just, it sucks. It's just how it is. The other thing too that I find surprising is the fact that you're saying that you actually got this recommended hyper because YouTube usually doesn't recommend live streams at all because it actually categorizes them somewhere completely different from normal videos. Which uh, is fine for channel sorting, but it kind of hides them. It's, it's very strange. Oh, okay, so the videos gave notifications, but the stream didn't. Interesting. 
Yeah, that kind of makes sense because streaming still kind of sucks on YouTube. That's why I'm moving to kick, right? You know that gambling site everyone's always talking about? But, uh, anyways, uh, sorry, I wasn't trying to ignore your guys' comments there. Well, what were you guys asking? Something about uh, how come when I try slash export account, it doesn't work? I don't know. Are you spelling it correctly? Um, or are you, wait, did all of the coins just respawn? Oh, they did. Coins are on a timer. Wait, so you could just go back and forth farming all the coins in one floor, all of the enemies respawned as well. What? That doesn't seem like it's on purpose. Don't tell the devs. Oh, export account is disabled temporarily. Okay, that makes sense. There you go, that's why it's not working. Dude, that means you could just farm one floor continuously. That's... What? <laughs> I don't think that's on purpose. Interesting. Okay. Um, anyways, let's grab... Where's my stupid key? Can you actually go on my hotbar? Thank you. Also, someone saying about being stuck at 23 KPR, what are you lacking currently? Uh, I'm sorry, that's a bit vague for me to be able to help you out. Okay, I don't see the key that it mentions crafting. Uh, we are pretty close to this, though, outside of the Ashen Souls, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get while we're on the test server. What the heck is that? That's a new item. I haven't seen that before. Acquired rarely from within the halls of the castle. Catastro and of course it costs. It was too good to be true. All of these resources. It was it was too good to be true. The cost of all of these made so much more sense before. And then they added some stupid new item. Gross. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could just keep going back and forth over and over to get these coins. I wonder if that means, do they respawn after a set period of time? Because that means technically you could AFK farm these. Which, again, feels like it's unintentional. Do all the Delves resources respawn after a set period of time? I don't think that they do. I don't like that there's that new resource though, and it's too vague. It just says, rarely from this biome. It's like, from what? Enemies? The chess? Like, what do you mean? Okay, not all of the coins respond actually. Interesting. And I don't know the text command to get us uh, to the end portal. Because they did add a text command where you can like, just say, oh, the objective's complete, warp me to the end. I'm assuming, well, these guys are still dropping inert geo. Yeah, look, these all respawned already. Is it based on just a certain amount of them? Like, what the heck? What the heck is going on, dude? Yeah, and I'm still getting them. Like, I'm seeing them going to my inventory. Eh. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll wait here a little bit and see whether or not they actually like just respawn or it's based on activity. Like maybe as I'm killing things and despawning mobs and junk, maybe that's what's doing it. I'm not sure. Stuck at 7K light, but I only have two dragons, so I can work with that. Yeah, dragons are probably going to end up being your weak link. Although light is more so going to be affected by uh, your gear. In, in, which includes your cosmic gems, your crystal gear, and your crystal ring. Okay, well, anyways. Wait, did all of these objectives respawn too? Yeah, okay, this seems buggy. I don't think that this is on purpose. Because even this thing respawned, but when I click on it, it like half spawned the enemy and then he despawned at the same time. It's just interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, we'll try and go for another portal just because why not? Very strange. 
Uh, it's not the plants. No, like if we end up looking at the item itself, it's an heirloom gem world. So acquired rarely from within the halls of castle Catastra delve biome. Uh, they just messed up on the description, but I assume it's either from the chests or from the enemies themselves. Or maybe you're right. Maybe it is just a random plant, which would be very, very stupid because we actually needed like quite a few of them uh in order to get most of those mounts which i don't like i preferred it when it was just the currency because that's easier for my brain and the thing that i hate about the devs is that they constantly make everything reliant on rng rather than just being something that you could just grind outright i mean you know me it's rng on rng right like it can't be trove without it Gotta drag out the content. How about you actually give us something worthwhile, like replace all shadows or all delves with the shadow tower. That would be beautiful. But more specifically, I still just desperately want like a new class or something, you know? Cause even though this update's cool, I, you know, don't get me wrong. I can't stress enough how awesome I think the Catastra portal is. We're still gonna be doing like 80% of normal boring old delves just to end up farming the new area. So it's kind of like if I had a new class at the very least, then I could feel like, oh, exciting, you know, a new a new toy to play with. But we don't got a new class. And honestly, we might not even get a new class this year. We don't know because devs never tell us anything, which I understand, you know, they can't really with all the game ago stuff and blah, 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 but still. You think Game Ago's made the game better since Tron Worlds? Oh, yes, most definitely. They've actually been listening uh, a lot to the players. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the only thing that I would say with Game Ago is, like... It, I don't know if it's an issue with Game Ago. I think it's just an issue with the developers themselves. Like, they never talk about anything. And, unfortunately, Game Ago is... Like, I'll say this. At the very least, GameAgo is 100% interested in making profit, and they're open about that, like just with the way that they develop the game, like you can just tell. Which is better than Tryon and how they pretended that they weren't, you know? Because Tryon would do a lot of really, really weird scummy things. And Game Ago, honestly, is, you know, even as far as all their cash shop stuff is concerned, almost everything that they put in into the cash shop is still free to play friendly. It's difficult to get, but at least it's there as an option. Like, I think Game Ago has done a really good job, but you got to consider that Tryon Worlds was so evil that they actually like went bankrupt. because the CEO probably just stole everybody's money or something, you know? I don't know. I, I think it's funny how, like, a lot of people try to criticize Game Ago, and it's like, bruh, it's the better of two evils. <laughs> think about it this way. If Game Ago didn't step in, this game would be dead. And that would be it. There's nothing we could do. Now, I still would love it if there was some sort of a secret um, user servers if I knew a thing or two about doing something like that, that would be pretty epic, but... <clears throat> Had a dream about a class with a three-word name. Um, idiotic. That's three syllables, but... That's the new class. Um, yeah, they do have badge tracking with this update, Gleam which I can turn off, I just had it on. Um, so you can actually favorite a badge and that's always going to dominate and show up on the right. Otherwise, it will just automatically highlight the badges that are close to being completed. Which I did talk about in the video I posted today with the additional settings and stuff. Which, I mean, I guess I could have highlighted more specifically in that video about the badge tracker because I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. Like, there's some really nice quality of life stuff, but... Overall, I'd say this update, like, 
you know, it adds the new Delve biome and then that's basically it. Like Fluxian seems like they pen spent an absurd amount of time setting up and coding. But I don't know if it was worth it because I don't think anybody was asking for it. You know, it's kind of the same as Bomber Season 3 where the devs just kind of prioritize what they feel like prioritizing because they think it's a problem rather than trying to find a solution to something that uh, is majorly affecting the game. Later, pure name. Also, yeah, hi, guys. Um, yeah, Frog, you should be able to join because Spooky, I think, can invite you if you're on the live server, Spooky. I would appreciate it because I'm on the test server right now. Also, yes, asking how I've been uh, up and down. I'm honestly, I'll, I'll admit, like, I'm still kind of a bit of an emotional train wreck right now just because of that Mario RPG announcement. Like, genuinely, it has affected me in, like, the most positive way possible. But I haven't been this excited for a game in a very, very long time where I'm not like I'm barely sleeping. Just because every time I'm like in bed and have a moment to myself to stop and think, like it just creeps into the back of my mind and it's just like, yikes. <laughs> I know that might seem strange, but it's like, you know, even even with games like Zelda and stuff, like the, a lot of games I'm excited for, but I've gotten really good at not getting excited until like the day before or something, you know? But this game, it's like, oh, God, no, I'm like, I'm excited. Like, I'm counting down the days and I'm actually like sitting here frustrated because it's like, dude, it's months away. And I'm just sitting and looking at it on my Switch store. Pre-ordered immediately. Yeah, Hyper, if you didn't check it out already, dude, check out the Nintendo Direct or my reaction to it. Or you can just check my channel because I've got, uh, you know, the reaction that kind of popped off. It's more than you think, my dude. It's not just Mario RPG going to the SNES store. It's a full remake. I have watched that trailer countless times. Fantastic, since you have a 390, would you say it was worth it or would you recommend something different for GPU? Oh, no, no. Nowadays, you can get like a 4070 for like half the price or something and it's uh, just as powerful. Well, it's not really everyone acts like it's just as powerful but it's not uh i don't have any regrets with my 3090 no but i don't think that it's for everybody i don't think a casual consumer should go for it hopefully it's not buggy at launch okay uh i know redfall Gollum, all of these area games have us sitting here questioning game developers and what they do for a living but uh let me remind you it's nintendo everything they put out is gold right away. Unfortunately, the one thing that I would criticize about Nintendo is once they're done with something, they barely support it afterwards, by which I mean there are a lot of quality of life changes I would love to see happen with Tears of the Kingdom. Still one of my favorite games, but there's a lot of things that I wish they would update and adjust as players have complained about them, but it's Nintendo, so they're not going to, haha. <laughs> Uh, hi, Eye Killers. Remember I watched your videos about this game years ago for help and watching you defeat Daughter of the Moon Ultra, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of wish that the new Shadow Tower boss, like in the Castle Catastra, was, was a... They should just make it a Daughter of the Moon variant or something. Instead of the, um, you know, the stupid generic enemy. Alright, here we go. Oh, never mind. I thought, sorry. I thought we were in it already. Gross. Defeat Monoliths. Okay, cool. But yeah, the funny thing too is I like how then whenever I say like, it's Nintendo, it's going to be really, you know, it's going to be optimized. It's going to run smooth as heck. And then everyone's like, what about Pokemon? And it's like, that's not developed by Nintendo. Published by Nintendo. It's created by Game Freak who, as we've seen, are not very good at making 3D Pokemon games. 
At least not right out of the gate. Uh, Scarlet and Violet is still a fantastic game. Which, by the way, unfortunately, I, I know nobody's asking for this, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to cover the Pokemon DLC. I was probably just going to do like a, maybe a one-off video or something like that, but uh, my Nintendo Direct React video actually got grabbed for all the Pokemon content. So I guess Game Freak is just saying screw it and grabbing people's content. Uh, because Detective Pikachu got grabbed and so did the Scarlet and Violet. So I basically had to cut those out of my Nintendo reaction. I adjusted the timestamps too, so it's all appropriate now. But anyways, nobody asked, but... Thinking about the best graphics card for my PC. I'm upgrading from a 1660. I'm not like a super computer savvy nerd or anything, Potato. So I don't know if I'm the best input for it. Um... Usually I end up like figuring all the ins and outs about PC stuff when I'm upgrading and then I just kind of let it fall to the wayside and completely forget what I'm doing in a couple years. But uh, yeah, anything like 3050, 3070, anything around that range is going to be considerably cheaper now. Uh, honestly, honestly, I'd say go AMD. Uh, instead for your CPU instead of Intel if you're planning to upgrade that much because Intel kind of sucks and is overpriced what it doesn't spawn the portal more than once are you serious so last the last floor was supposed to be the Catastra it's just not spawning it anymore Dude, that's so stupid. Did, did it show the notification that I didn't notice? And it mentioned like, oh, the portal won't show up anymore. Like, what? I guess we'll try it again and see. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice in chat right there. It says this is the last four castle catastrophe will appear regularly in this Dell. Uh. Why is that even a thing, devs? Like, seriously, dude. So stupid. Uh, yeah, I did uh, kind of glance over the patch notes multi. Um, I'm not really super interested in it until it's on the live server at this point, just because small upgrades aren't gonna matter. But I appreciate that you posted it to me. Um, also, yeah, hi guys. Yeah, 46k PR is the new uh, highest PR. I, I'm a little bit lacking just because I'm lacking mastery. Uh, there was actually an Ocarina of Time remake, but it was on the 3DS. Unfortunately, they didn't make a console version of it, which uh, kind of sucks. I wish that they did. I would have loved to play through that game, but I just, you know, I never owned a 3DS and I don't plan to. Are these enemies immune to physical or something? Yep. Most of them are anyway, but we'll try and find other ones, I guess. Oh yeah, there we go. Dude, imagine making like the delves like that, where certain enemies are just immune to damage, like one specific damage type. That's awesome. Uh, let me also swap to death defying just so that I don't have to pay attention to anything when I'm reading chat. How many more enemies do we need? Wow. But yeah, Hyper, if you didn't catch the Nintendo Direct, they popped off, my dude. We got a new Mario game coming out later this year on top of Mario RPG. Like, uh, there's a new WarioWare, which those games were always a treat. I haven't pre-ordered that one, though, because it was quite expensive. Funny enough, I didn't know, like, I, I was actually pretty surprised to see that Mario RPG was full price. Like it costs the same as Zelda and it's like, what? I don't think most people will go for that. Me, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll buy it anyways. It physically hurt me, but hey, whatever. My wallet pinched my knuckles because it was like, no, please. Stop taking my guts. <clears throat> if you get the newest AMD CPU, you'll have... Oh, yes. I... 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just saying whether or not he was getting like a full upgrade from the ground up, which uh, I don't know whether or not he is. Again, that would require a lot more than oh, just get this part, lol. Okay, I can't believe I need three enemies. You plan on doing a Dark Souls series? No, I do not. Uh, I already have a very, very lengthy Elden Ring series. Uh, I did already play through Dark Souls 3 on the channel as well with my buddy. I didn't reach the skulls. Yes, I did. I guess I didn't go in the room deep enough. But uh, anyways, I have a really hard time. So as much as I love older games, you know, like I'm I'm fine with doing a retro series and stuff like that. Um, When it's a game that is fundamentally the same, but the mechanics are better. So Dark Souls 1 versus Elden Ring. Elden Ring is just outright a better game because it's got the same mechanics. It's just a lot more refined over the years and so on and so forth, right? And those are the types of games where I have a really hard time playing them because it's just so similar to the most modern version of the game, you know? So just long-winded answer saying that I have no plans on playing the older Dark Souls games because we've already got the Elden Ring DLC coming at some point. Don't know when, but we'll see. I'm not even sure what the next big game is going to be, because right now we've still got Final Fantasy 16, which I'm enjoying. I'll hopefully be able to stream that some more today, but we shall see. Where is this guy? I think I killed him. Yeah. Seems like there's only one enemy per dungeon or per room, I mean. So yeah, basically, if this is on purpose, stay in the Catastra portal. Because apparently it's just like the stupid Leviathans where it'll just despawn after a while and just makes it so that the portal you crafted was a waste. Could you imagine spending credits for these portals and then you only get one of the new biome before it like despawns already? Like. This video game, man. Gunslinger is not the highest damage. No, Gunslinger still sucks, even after the rework, unfortunately. And most of all, he's boring. I know, Voodoo, I know. I'm like, I can, I can nitpick quite a few things in Tears of the Kingdom. But it's after like a hundred hours of playtime that I'm nitpicking it, you know? And it doesn't in any way take anything away from the game, in my opinion. But yeah, like the music kind of sucks in Tears of the Kingdom. The story is terrible, or at least the voice acting is and the way that the story is presented to you is. I, I kind of covered all of the same stuff in my review anyways, and I think that it still, uh, it still remained accurate. My opinion didn't change too much over time. Also, yeah, Multi, just whisper me and then I can invite any of you into this portal. Also, again, yeah, this... The portal is no longer going to regularly appear. Like, okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, GTA 6. In 80 years. Apparently, it might be it might be sooner than we think. Like, hopefully, they'll end up showing it off. Like, maybe an announcement next year or something. I don't know. Who knows? I'm not gonna pretend that I'm hyped for it at, at, like at all. Most of all, I'm just hyped for the online. Like, I I really don't care about their campaigns anymore. How do I level up fast? Um, one of the quicker ways of leveling up, I, I think I've got videos that still cover it, but basically it's going to end up being the daily quest from NPCs will be the best XP uh, up until you run out of those quests and then it's the delves, unfortunately, because when you're going through the delves, you'll actually complete multiple objectives that all end up individually giving you quest XP or uh, dungeon completion XP, I mean.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Killers, because you said you haven't been on the game for a while, right? Yeah. Um, Gunslinger is no longer the best. That happened a long time ago as they power crept all of the other characters up. But uh, yeah, at the moment, Shadowhunter is top tier. Um, I'm not going to say it's like number one, but you can use it for pretty much everything. It's kind of a jack of all trades and it does them all really, really well. Which, I mean, Shadowhunter's just always been my favorite. That's why I still use it, despite the fact that people get frustrated at me because they want to see me play the other classes at the end game. But I don't care. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I don't find the other classes as fun. No. I'm trying to gather coins, thank you very much. And I'm trying to kill these enemies to see whether or not they drop the stupid currency. Which, uh, unfortunately, the boss might also drop the currency. It might not be from the normal enemies. But we'll run back through here after we've completed the objective, just because if everything just keeps respawning, well then. <clears throat> oh yeah, Charlie, then I wouldn't worry too much. If you're only level 15, you're not even like at the point where it's going to be difficult to level up yet. It starts getting difficult like around, uh, still getting Valor tokens, uh, around like level 20 to 25 is when it starts really slowing down. Otherwise, honestly, you can even just grind normal adventure worlds. It depends what you find fun. See, so we didn't get a single one of these resources, which is very, very concerning to me because three, 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 five. I, I bet you this is another thing that the devs didn't even like actually bother calculating because they never test this stuff themselves. They just put in an arbitrary number and then expect us to test it. So we need to have, uh, if I didn't, if I calculated this correctly, we need to have 59 of whatever this currency is. And we've been at this, you know, arguably these delve portals are very uncommon. It took half an hour for us to end up going through two of them. Granted, that was most of all just my mistake because I didn't know that the portal wouldn't show up anymore. But let's see what happens if we just keep going back and forth through it over and over again. Uh, I'm assuming that it's probably out of those stupid chests that don't seem to spawn, but I don't see the keys for those chests in the first place. And it's uh, it's really concerning because if we need 59 of them, like I'm already calculating and trying to figure out, okay, how many hours am I going to have to spend grinding this? Is it going to get to the point where I am not having fun grinding this, which is more than likely what's going to end up happening. Uh, also, just a quick heads up because a couple of you guys are asking about the export account. Apparently, they've disabled the export account temporarily because there are a lot of big issues going on in the test server at the moment. So hopefully you exported your account uh, prior to that. But yeah, so some of the enemies respawn. Some of the coins seem to respawn. We are still getting the coin, which is interesting. But again, I need to know where this item is actually gotten from. It needs to say it in the description. So the weird thing is that it seems like the later half of the dungeon is what respawns. It's not every enemy, which again, genuinely concerns me that this is unintentional because if it was intentional, that would actually be kind of cool because it means that we could just perpetually farm the same biome over and over again instead of having to constantly create new portals because this game is stupid. Like right now, we're not going into another portal, guys. You can just go to uh, Jub Jub Club and I'll end up putting a portal down uh, on the ground over here and wait for you guys. Because unfortunately, that was our last uh, of the uh, Catastro portal, which is stupid. How long do you think it will be until I can get crystal gear? You can get crystal gear pretty quickly, honestly. All you gotta do is end up getting to um, getting to the geode surface, and then you can already start crafting some crystal gear. But you'll get it like pretty commonly if you end up finding it. Um, 
It's rare to see anyone main Revenant, and I'm not sure of his ranking, but I love the class so much. Yeah, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, that is the priority, I would say, is all of the classes currently work, okay? There's certain classes that are more efficient than others at certain categories, but at the end of it all, play the class that you enjoy, regardless of what anybody says, and don't let anybody ever shame you into not playing the class that you enjoy, because otherwise you're going to quit. You're going to get bored because you're going to be forcing yourself to play a character that you don't enjoy just because it's meta, which let's be real, it's Trove. There's not much of a meta. I've always been pushing that in my videos ever since I started playing. And I still hold on to that. Now that said, Revenant is actually a powerhouse, despite the fact that nobody really mains it just because he's so fat and bulky and slow. Uh, but otherwise that class is basically invincible just because of its lifesteal and everything. And it actually has really, really good damage currently because you just toggle on your number one ability and then just left click with the spear. It's unfortunate that the uh, shield, the bulwark bash or whatever it's called is basically useless. But honestly, I'd rather take a character that's functional and fun. And Revenant's at the point where I'd say Rev mains are having fun with it. Uh, I don't like that playstyle. That's why I don't use that class. Anyways, lengthy explanation for nothing. <clears throat> uh, no, you can't come here, Charlie. We're on the test server, dude. Why would you want to level yourself up on the test server? <laughs> yeah, as Sarah said, um, you could focus on maining one character first because a lot of the gear will be able to uh, swap over to another class anyways, depending if it's the same, um, you know, if it's the same physical or magic damage or weapon type or whatever but leveling up generally isn't it's not hard again if you end up just doing the daily quests and then just make sure that you get double xp potions from Caruxian every week if well if you can afford them <clears throat> but you're still pretty early on so I wouldn't worry too much just get a feel for the game find out which class that you enjoy The good old days of just starting out. If only I wasn't so jaded and old. <laughs> I hate this game. Anyone who's on Elden Ring DLC? No, 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 nothing. We're probably not going to hear about it until next year. Or maybe a surprise announcement at Game Awards. Which would be quite poetic. Uh, the one thing, I did post that a couple weeks ago on my community tab. But there was, around Summer Games Fest time, there was actually more Armored Core gameplay, but it was in Japanese only. I don't know why they didn't show it, because it actually looked great. The club on the test server is Jub Jub, yes. But on live server is Team Pixel. Oh, we're just supposed to defeat Monoliths. I don't even know why I'm fighting normal enemies. I never pay attention to the objective, dude. Like, the funny thing is, I don't know about you guys, but like, I, I, for one, I hate the Delves. I find them to be insanely boring. I don't know if they're as boring as Shadow Towers were. I, like, I used to like Delves, but I don't like them anymore. Um, the one thing that I'll say though, is this new Shadow Tower Delve portal just makes the rest of this look bad. Like it just, it really like seeing this just makes me wish this is all it was. Like I honestly, I know it's a bit extreme. I would say just remove all of the delves period and just have this be the normal delves and just cycle out like the color theme. You know, I'd be, I, I think most people would be so much more happy with that. Because at least this place isn't stupid. It's just a normal dungeon. There's no dumb elevation and spam jump. And, you know, it's just... I don't know. 
it might sound a bit extreme, but genuinely, I, I really hope that the devs realize they're onto something with this. Lean into it. You know, uh, this this is basically them saying, okay, everybody keeps complaining and wanting Shadow Towers. Here you go. Yeah, do more. Don't just make this a new unique biome. I don't need all of the biomes to have the same currency or anything. It could have the normal delve resources. I don't care, but. There we go. Uh, could you explain more in depth the tip I saw you mention once in a video where you actually said that upgrading your crystal gems fully then loot collecting. Uh, okay, so basically it's gonna cost you more flux, but you'll get all of your gem dust back if you level a gem to 15 or 25. But the only way that I would recommend that you would end up doing that is if your gems were, you can do it with radiant gems, but it's not as cost effective. Stellar or crystal gems in particular with the crystal gems, you wanna get those to level 25 because then when you loot collect them, you'll end up getting the uh, gem spark which gives you like way more gem dust than you ended up spending. However, it is going to end up draining your flux to level it up. How do you get crystal gear? I can't get light for U10 or U11. You can get crystal gear in like U8, dude. You can just go to the lowest difficulty right there and then that'll have crystal gear. Uh, and then of course, crystal two gear is in the higher difficulty, crystal three in the higher difficulty, crystal four, so on and so forth. Now let's see if any of us ended up getting that new currency, by the way. Not the not the cat gem eye thing, but that new dumb currency that is way too rare drop. Or at the least, it just doesn't have as much of a description as it should because we don't know. We don't know where it is. We don't know where to get it. We could be grinding the complete wrong thing. Oh, so Multi is saying that the new material is dropped from the chest, which is funny because we haven't seen a single one of those chests. So unless they disabled them, devs, fix it. Make it so that the chest guaranteed spawns every time because I'm betting that the chest can only drop the resource once if it even drops it in the first place, which means that you would have to do, uh, let's see. 59 times three, you would have to do 177 of these portals and, and you know, because of individual Dell floors. And that's only if you would end up getting one of this stupid currency per chest. But never mind, we got one. Okay, so it is just a rare drop. It's got nothing to do with the chest, unless it was the chest here at the end. Did I just get it and I didn't notice? Did you guys see it in the bottom right? It's still ridiculous the amount of time that this is going to take to grind because the fact that we only got one is brutal. Um, let's see. This makes it so that you get more gem rolls. Small chances of gem rolls. Uh huh. Gem rolls. Gives the ability to craft more. I don't think there's any ally that affects this new resource because this resource wasn't here first uh, in the first place. I wish I had these so that I could test this ally out, but I mean, I could buy them on the live server, but what about this guy? Small chance of a small chance in the devs mind. That means like 1%. Hmm. Interesting. Now, unfortunately, yeah, and so basically we would just go back and forth, back and forth like an idiot. If the objective, it doesn't seem like it reset this time. Weird. Well, I got a couple extra portals. 
Um, but did we get the message that said there's going to be no more? I don't think we did actually. So let's take a quick peek. Maybe we'll actually get an arrow one. <clears throat> I hope they don't release this update as it is though. There are multiple ways for duping. Um, really? I mean, honestly, there's no surprise. That might be why they disabled a lot of the things in this uh, Shadow Tower area. Because I think they're trying to figure out a way to fix it. I don't know what's going on with it because I'm not honestly keeping up with uh, the test server stuff. I just kind of wait until it goes live. But duping, I mean, that's nothing new to Trove. We've got plenty of flux dupers that still haven't been banned. We need more class role diversity rather than new classes. No, God, no. Trove's not that complex, which is what we all like about it. Yeah, it would be cool if we ended up having classes actually all have different, like, functionality. Like, actual, like, healers and, you know, uh, tanks and stuff like that. But generally speaking, it's Trove. There's nothing to this game other than just more damage and speed. And so I think they've been doing a great job overhauling all of the characters so that they, for the most part, have damage and speed. Some of them do have tankiness, which... You want to know what a tank class does in this game? They survive long enough to kill the enemy because they don't have the damage to kill it faster than it kills them. <laughs> like this game is insanely simple and as far as I'm concerned, I think that they should just keep adding new classes. It is kind of an unfortunate side effect of the game being so simple is we kind of just want the next thing to play with, but But I'd love to see a new class, hopefully this year, and hopefully a cool one this time. Say what you will about, you know, the latest classes. I don't think the Bard is badass, and I, I, I don't particularly think that the Salarian is very inventive as a class. It's just the Shadowhunter's big brother. Their functionality, okay, cool. You know, the way that they fit in the game, I think it's really great that we have like a weirder caster like the Bard and that we have like just the strongest class currently. But I'd prefer to have a class that is actually like fun to play on top of being a powerhouse. I'm not I'm not a very big fan of uh, Bard's gameplay or Solarian's gameplay because Solarian's just a boss killer and boss killing's boring. Yeah, give me my samurai class where it's uh, Ghost of Tsushima and you just constantly change stances. Or give me a generic wizard that has like multiple elements. Fire, ice, lightning or, you know, stuff like that. Not swapping between the abilities or anything, just it would be all the different elements. Or it could just be a Pyro Mage. But we kind of already have that with uh, Draco. I mean, there's tons of different class ideas that they could have, but I mean, you know me, I just want a Samurai. <laughs> I, I want a good melee character, man. Like, is it like look at over the years, you know, the last one we had before Salarian and Bard was Vanguard and Vanguard. Oh, man, I loved Vanguard for the longest time. I'm not even a fan of fist fighting characters, but Vanguard was so fun. We need another banger class like that. Where it's just so cool, you know, that people main it <laughs> even though it was never like that good a bow staff class yeah there, there's plenty of ideas that they could have man legit yeah but that's my point saris salarian it, for me falls under the category as only a boss killer because I can literally outspeed a Salarian easily. Outside of if you end up using glitches, 
which there's like this weird glitch where if you look at like southeast or northwest or whatever and then you go forward and tap left and right at the same time apparently it makes you like super duper fast but i don't feel like giving myself carpal tunnel so i never bothered learning that technique and in my opinion if you have to use something like that just to make your character functional as a speed farmer then uh uh okay this is our last portal now it said which is hilarious I'm not saying don't main Solarian. If you want main Solarian for farming and stuff, sure, go for it. You're gonna be able to clear dungeons super duper quick just because the damage is so ridiculously high, but you can't tell me it's a speed farmer. I find it funny how, you know, people, <laughs> unrelated subject, but just because you enjoy something doesn't mean that it's flawless, you know? I think that's also just because that's the type of person I am. I have a very critical eye, you know, like even though I love Shadowhunter, I would never, I, you know, I'm always very careful not to tell people it's not the best class. I'd say it's kind of the best all around character currently because it's got really good speed and really good clear times for dungeon speed. And it can end up being a boss killer as well. But do I just automatically recommend the class? No, that would just... It's because it's my favorite class. I liked Shadowhunter before it was cool. I still remember, like, being the only person who would main Shadowhunter before we even got class gems. And then class gems showed up and suddenly everyone's like, Shadowhunter's too strong, lol! And then the devs nerfed the class into the ground because they were listening to the wrong people who didn't actually main the class. Uh, and now, years and years and years later, we finally ended up getting that buff that the Shadowhunter desperately needed, and, uh, yeah, the class is where it should be. I think most of the classes are where they should be, except for Gunslinger. I feel like that was the laziest rework they could have possibly done. Like, they basically just changed numbers rather than, like, just functionality. Boomeranger as well, you know, it was not the greatest rework. I know as far as in-game, it completely transformed the character into being a powerhouse, but its gameplay remains relatively similar, is my point. And I like it. I like it when they rework them, man. Like, where they actually, like, give them new abilities and make it so that all of their abilities kind of synergize off of each other. So if you guys don't mind, try to keep track in the bottom right. I know it's going to be very difficult to notice it, but if you see that weird new resource show up, let me know. Because I'm assuming it's from the enemies or it was from the chest right at the end. Which would equally be dumb. Like if it's from enemies, then that's actually fine. I know they're dropping gem rolls, but... Are they dropping that other resource? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, also, I'm noticing these enemies on this floor are still dropping all their resources despite the main objective is um, going for the, uh, the, 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 the monoliths or whatever. Oh, did I just get one? Yeah, the heirloom gem world. Sweet. Okay, so it is off of normal enemies. There you go. Okay, thanks for the confirmation on that, guys. Now we'll see whether or not we get one from the dungeon boss chest as well. Let's see. Oh, I've yet to see this boss. Wow, that looks so cool, dude. It's a weeping baby uh, variant. Oh, that looks great, man. That's more what I need to see. Oh, dude, that looks so freaking cool. See, that's that's more what we need. We need like a unique boss. That's that's great. Yeah, I'm gonna clip that guy right there. That was really cool. All right. Um. Oh, we got Fee's key. Okay, I think we got that off of the boss though. Not, uh, not the, not the chest.
Didn't see anything special out of there. All right, what about this? Let's see. So did we get, oops. We, we actually got two of them that floor. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it was. The cat's eye gem rolled, unfortunately, is bad. And I think that this ally is ridiculously overpriced because the Ashen Souls are not an easy resource to come across. They're very, very specific. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, have you ever tried games like Apex or League? The closest I'll get is Fortnite Zero Build. Um, I did play League of Legends back in the day, and it's okay. I'm not into MOBAs that much. I liked Smite a lot because it's a more like skill-based MOBA. What I mean is like you actually aim. Are they gonna do some changes to the Phoenix? Oh, the Phoenix modes? No, I, I know. I know, dude, it's so bad. Genuinely, the, the problem is there's a huge disconnect and this isn't big issue with Trove in general. Like if there's one thing that I would genuinely heavily criticize about the developers that they should like look at the way that they develop the game uh, is there's a huge disconnect between between what they think is a fair, reasonable resource or drop chance or whatever versus what the player actually does. So like five star five star dungeons in Sundered Uplands. I don't know anyone at all who opens the like chest that requires a key up at the top because you always just get garbage out of them. Like there's no point wasting the resources to craft the key. Sure, you could get a tradable version of a mount, but it's just so astronomically bad odds. It's like, who cares? But then when you think about like, okay, so it adds value to the item. Yeah, but... I think everyone would agree that if it was something that was actually obtainable and not have a 1% chance of dropping, more people would actually take the risk of spending the keys. And then there would be a lot more of them on the market. Sure, they would be a lot cheaper, but I think it would be a lot better. Because as it stands right now, uh, you know, lots of people always ask me, how come I'm not max mastery? That's exactly why. Because so many of the items are just a chore to obtain now I just don't bother. Sorry, I'm just kind of chilling a little bit, but we're going to end up opening an hour portal up. Ugh. I bought a stack of 300 trophies for empowered enemies. Basically, 1k souls for 200k flux. Really? Okay, maybe they did end up going a lot cheaper then. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks for that, Saris. Hey, honestly, the only time I bought them was when the update was just live. So I, I have honestly stayed away from the market ever since the test uh, or the taxes update. <laughs> I tried farming those chests, but I got nothing. I feel like crystal big gems are only possible for me to get from gem conversion. Uh, and of course, keys are super expensive overall. Yeah, the keys are way too expensive. That's the problem is, as you can see with this stuff, like a lot of these resources are just too expensive. Uh, even these fee keys, sure, we can craft them, but 250 inert geode each. I mean, I don't know. Like we get we got two of them within an hour, which I guess is pretty good. But I haven't really seen um, I haven't seen any of the boxes. I can't craft them. You know? Okay, uh, do I have an extra portal still? I hope I do, because we'll probably do like one or two more of these. Oh, I do have plenty of portals, good. Hey, Ivor. Yes, I think we're winning. We're kind of discovering new things with uh, the Shadow Tower update. Which, most of all, all of this stuff that we're doing today, this is research for me, so that when the update goes live, I can actually relay this info to you guys. <sighs> I develop the game as if everyone's grinding the same thing every minute. No, I, I think that the problem is that the developers um, don't actually play this game. <laughs> so they don't know how bad it is. Not, not the game, like the odds, the RNG of it all. Like the fact that they ended up making, uh, you know, prime example before we go into this portal. 
Balma Royale Season 3. You know, they have it come out. Uh, they make it so that you no longer gain XP from Bomber Royale and whatever else. Suddenly, no one's playing Bomber anymore. You want to know why? The only people who played Bomber in the first place were bots. That was the only way that you could actually play matches because otherwise, nobody wants to play Bomber unless we had custom maps. I feel like that's something that they should have worked on rather than Season 3. But um, with all of that said, it meant, okay, if you're not on the second this update goes live, grinding those keys, guess what? Or grinding the bomber tokens, guess what? You can't end up getting any of the bomber royale items. You, it's almost impossible to get them today because now the updates are relevant. Uh, that's kind of the problem with a lot of Trove's updates. Uh, and what I, as a gamer and person who passionately plays this game for so many years, is I would always want the devs to ask the question, just because you can develop this new content doesn't mean that you should. Is this something that is going to end up having an actual shelf life or is it just something to inflate playtime? Unfortunately, they do add a lot of padding to this game and a lot of the content, you know, that's basically what the new resource is right now in the uh, Shadow Tower delves is literally just to pad out the content because at the end of the day, what are we actually getting out of it? Just a bunch of allies, mounts, and mastery. The usual crap. Nothing that has longevity. You know? It's not like it's going to end up being anything that's going to affect other aspects of the game. The only thing that it affects is mastery, right? Because, uh, let's be real, mastery is pretty much the only thing that's a, a constant in this game. Because otherwise, what's the point? What's the point in even doing the new Shadow Towers? Once you end up having all of the items out of there, there is no incentive to go back, you know? And that's kind of a big problem with a lot of the systems that they make in the game. And even with Bomber Royale Season 3, is it's like, clearly they put a lot of work and effort into it. Why? <laughs> nobody likes Bomber. Like, nobody asked for this, you know? It's the same as the Delves. The Delves as a whole, nobody asked for it. But for some reason, here we go, we got these big old caves. Uh, granted, a lot of that, I think, was uh, Game Ago being very, very smart with uh, development, because we basically already had the Geode Caves update from Trine Worlds, and they just kind of reused all of those assets to end up making an infinite dungeon, which is arguably, like, the mechanics about Delves are great, it's just that the place is so ugly. But anyways. Can you tell me a fun magic character to play? I'm maining Dino Tamer at the moment. Well, that is a really fun magic character, honestly speaking. Um, personally, I like Tomb Raider, Draco, but they're very, very slow, so it's kind of up to you. Uh, Ice Sage can be pretty powerful, just for delves and stuff like that. But honestly, you're probably already playing one of the faster magic classes. So it really depends on your own play style, man. I'd say like just experiment and figure out what works for you. <clears throat> uh, best ally for pretty much every character is going to end up being the star chart allies. I got a video already covering it, uh, but I'll just kind of hover over all of them right here. Just so you can see Scorpius is kind of the big ally that everybody uses right now, just because the physical damage and the light. Uh, I know that there's another ally that's not in the star chart, but gives similar stats. I forget what the name of it is, though. Sorry to say. Is that coffee? Yes, pretty much. It's got caffeine in it, so. Um... No, 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 I, I, I know, Potato, the main reason that they did all the Delve stuff and moved away from Shadow Towers. The, the thing is, like, again, I like the mechanics of the Delves. I'm fine with an infinite dungeon. I just wish that it didn't look so gross. And, you know, all this bottlenecked corridors and stuff. Like, it's just, it's not fun. All this verticality and everything, like, it just, everything looks the same, but it's just a different color swap. You, you want to know what this is like? Here, here's a prime example. This right here, this whole delve area is like the end game dungeon in a JRPG where it just feels like it's 
there for the sake of dragging out the content, you know? <laughs> a weird analogy. But I know JRPG fans will know what I'm talking about. Hey, MVD. Um, yeah, exactly, Potato. I, like, that's why so many of us, as soon as we saw this, it was just like, oh, so you can make the Delves look good. You just choose not to. So I, I really hope that this is them laying the groundwork for just overhauling the Delves. I know that they probably won't, but I can dream. Because the th biggest issue that I would say, like if, if I was like hypothetically, if I was on the dev team, I would just think like, you know, adding Bomber Royale season three or even adding the Delves caves in the first place, you know, they're probably, they're probably thinking to themselves, like not to, not to add this to the Delves because it would require not only a lot of effort, but it would also require them to basically remove the caves. And they're probably quite proud of those mechanics and don't want to end up removing it because it's like, oh, well, that, that just means that it was just a big waste of time and a waste of effort and waste of work. And it's like, yes, it was. That's the problem with a lot of Trove's updates is I would argue that it's just them wasting time developing content nobody asked for, you know? Like, the thing too is I, I don't mean to sound so cruel towards Bomber Royale because I actually really liked Bomber Royale back when the maps were good. But they slowly just made it more and more boring and slowly just removed all of the fun, quirky, uh, game-breaking mechanics and made Bomber Royale way too clean. And the maps just suck now. They're so boring and bland. Like, I, I really feel like if there's anything that they should have worked on, they should have worked on uh, custom maps. You know, it's the, that's the one thing that I would say is the big thing that they needed to work on with Trove as a whole is start working on making mechanics so that it's easier for them to import player created content because player created content is basically free labor. I know that that sounds harsh, but legitimately, if they have players creating new bomber maps, it means that the devs don't need to waste their time focusing on that and can instead focus on making new updates that are actually more substantial. All they gotta do is just get the maps into the game, you know? I personally think that they should just make, uh, they should either overhaul PVP because frankly speaking, I loved how PVP used to work because we got to actually play it on our own custom maps. Um, and it was a lot funner than Bomber Royale, but I still think it would be cool if we got custom maps in Bomber Royale. And further than that, I think that they should just say, screw balance and make it so that we can just play Bomber in our own custom maps and club worlds and still earn the currency. Because my mentality towards just video games as a whole is quite different than what most developers would aim for. Um, personally, I would say, what's the most important thing about your video game? Well, having people play it and not inflating the playtime. And that's how you end up getting people to play it, which obviously, you know, is about profits and that's their top priority. I get it. But I think that if players are willing to hardcore grind Bomber Royale with their friends in a club world, just to get the maxed out currency, and then they end up moving on from Bomber Royale right after. At the very least, that's more time than the average person would play Bomber Royale as it is currently, you know? And I'm just using Bomber Royale as an example. I think that applies to a lot of the mechanics in the game, even referring back to us talking about how the chest drops are just so astronomically bad, you know? It, it just makes it so that you're, you're, not incentivized to even bother going for it just because it's so daunting. Like look at dragons. Dragons as a whole, I would say are broken right now. One of the biggest things that they desperately need to rework is how dragon coins work. Because as of right now, you know, when they had only a couple dragons in the game, it made sense for them to cost 300 dragon coins each. Not anymore, it doesn't. 
There's so many dragons in the game. You need such an astronomically ridiculous amount of dragon coins. Free to play players cannot get all dragons. You can't. Not unless you play for like a couple years worth. And even then you gotta log in every time for the dragon challenges. But when do dragon challenges show up? Oh, it's random. Oh, hmm. That's stupid. <laughs> Anyways. It all comes out of a place of love, too. Like, that, you know, I, I want to stress because I know sometimes we get people that think I'm just being a negative Nancy, but you gotta understand, I've been playing this game for so gosh darn long. I want these things to be here because I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what the general player base would actually want from this game. I mean, I'm, I might be wrong about some of this stuff. But... Even if you disagree with me, at the very least, I think that uh, more of you would be able to agree with me than to where the devs are developing the game and what they're focusing on. <clears throat> Anyways. Excuse my ramblings, it's one of those times of days. This is what happens, though, when you're doing something that's just boring, like the Delves. How would you rate this game? Um, <laughs> That's a very difficult question, come to think of it. I have, um, uh, not to sidetrack too much from that question, but I have thought about doing reviews for games that I've already played back in the day. You know? Um, but again, like I'm, I'm kind of a weirdo, like just with my brain, I have a very hard time, like going backwards, you know, it's always about like the next thing and moving forward constantly, but I probably should look at reviewing some of the games that I've played in the past and doing like a trove review and stuff like that. But, uh, at the same time, it's a, a bit intimidating because at this point I feel like there would be so many things that I could say about it but I would try to have that condensed down as quickly as possible. So it's it's very difficult because with Trove, I'm also at the point where I've been playing this game for so long, it's more of like a hobby now than just like a video game that I enjoy playing, you know? Like I can just passively be grinding this and I'm having a lot of fun just chilling with you guys and it's kind of second nature versus actively playing this game and trying to progress that ship has sailed a long, long time ago because I kind of already got everything that I set out to get, you know? That said, how would I rate it? I mean, I guess I would say, honestly, it's still probably going to be a 5 out of 5 for me, like solid. It, it does definitely have a lot of pay to win and a lot of issues with it, but there's other games out there that are much, much worse. And unfortunately, I don't think most people are going to share my opinion, but I still think that it's incredible that this is the only voxel MMO game out there. And considering it's kind of on a really, really small budget, when you think about it, it's pretty dang good, you know? Like, Tryon Worlds basically put this game on an indie budget because whatever person was in charge at Tryon Worlds was stupid enough to think a voxel MMO isn't going to sell. Make it on an old, dated, crappy game engine, which is exactly why Trove still suffers from so many of its problems, you know? But again, you know, I, yeah, exactly. It's not as pay to win as Black Desert. It's not as pay to win as Genshin Impact. Like there's so many other games now. Uh, any any MMO that you play nowadays is pay to win. It's very, very rare to find one that isn't. And generally speaking, those games don't really last very long. And with Trove, you know, even though it does have some pay to win stuff, or should I say pay to progress, because you still have to put in the grind time. Just because you can end up buying so many of these resources that'll end up upgrading your gems and leveling them up and making you god tier powerful doesn't mean that you can just instantly get your gems to max level without putting in the grind time. Like there's the gem augmenters and you know, you still gotta grind the gem dust. I mean, you can still kind of get it out of boxes, but yeah, I mean, I guess it is still very pay to win, but 
you don't have to, you know, especially when so much of the content that you're paying for is actually just for mastery. And mastery it doesn't really matter. Like, really, real talk. <laughs> it's kind of just a flex. Man, those coins already respawned. Jeez. Like the only thing, you know, as another side note that I know nobody asked, but I know someone's thinking about it. Why I ended up stopping the New Beginnings series, you know, where I basically started a new account as free to play. Well, there's just so many things to grind in this game that it's actually like intimidating for me to even think about starting and continuing and actively playing this game as free to play because at this point like i've already put like so many years into this one account i just don't really have much of a desire to start again you know especially when i already know where i'm going like there's no excitement for me to start a new character and progress through the game because i already know okay well if i end up starting a new character What's the hardest thing that I'm going to deal with? Well, it's going to be dragons and it's going to be the gems, especially because I'm not actively logging in during specific times of day and week and weekdays and stuff like that to end up grinding those specific elements. Because to me, again, this is a casual hobby game. I mean, it's also my job when you think about it, but. But am I playing Trove more than I'm playing Zelda right now? No. Of course I'm playing Zelda more. But at the end of the day, am I going to keep playing Zelda for longer than Trove? No, probably not. Because Zelda's a single player game and once I've done everything in it, I've done everything in it and then I'll just move on. Even though it's one of my favorite games. Do you think this game should be money? <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I'm not sure what you're asking. Yes, it should be money. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, this game is money. Like, it's, it's a great game, it really is. And a lot of the updates that they've been adding to the game are awesome. It's just... It's just very, very slow, you know? Like the development process for this game, unfortunately. Oh, do I think it's worth the money? Uh, some stuff is worth the money. Some stuff that you get in Trove is genuinely a really good deal, but that's kind of the big thing is a lot of the cash shop is a beginner's trap because so much of it is just not worthwhile. That's why like usually when a new update comes out with a new box, like the Bomber Season 3 boxes, I'll buy like $100 of boxes just to test the RNG for you guys so you know whether it's worth it or not. And I can already tell you, if you haven't watched that video, it's not worth it because the RNG is just so astronomically bad. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly, Lion Killer. Because as, as, as soon as I got my free-to-play accounts up to... Um, U8 Geode Surface, that's where it was just like, I couldn't progress anymore, right? Like the funnest part of this game, honestly, is leveling up the characters and everything, and then the rest of it kind of becomes a chore. Later, Saris! Yeah, this will probably be the last, uh, last dungeon we do, just because we've been at this for already an hour and a half, but it feels like five hours. Because it's still the Delves. We're still suffering through the Delves. Like, if this was all it was, I'd be fine with that. Another quick solution that they could do, I think, would be if they made uh, a button that we could reset this portal and go back to the beginning of it. Oh, actually, is this going to start? Oh, looks like we actually got another one in three portals. Ah, but the difficulty's getting up there. Mm, I want to see if we can find that stupid chest, though. Like, that requires the fee key. Because we got the keys, but I haven't seen the chest once, dude. And we've done this... Well, we haven't done it that much, but still, that's really bad odds. Kill agile creatures. What? What? I'm an agile creature? What does that mean? 
Okay. If they ever fix Trove's lag, it'll be the happiest day. Well, the lag... So, the lag has gotten substantially better. Uh, especially after the recent network update on PC. I don't know why servers died when the new events popped up, but I think that it's because they... Um, I, I don't know if their servers were getting DDoSed or something. Like, who knows, man? What? Oh. I'll try, but I think you should just respawn, frankly speaking. Frog. Oh. <laughs> you have death defying. Ah, uh, yes. The game does not care. Yeah, death defying glitches out a lot. Can you explain? Wait, what? Oh, the constellation key. Yeah, that's for the star chart. Uh, I have another video that already talks about the star chart and everything. Although I probably could have like specific videos talking about like unlocking stuff and blah, blah, blah. But I kind of already covered all of that on the test server. Uh, and that video is still relevant. So that's why I never did like an updated one on live server. Ugh. Looks like we got really, really bad generation. Keep having to jump up. Oh, thank goodness. Hello, stupid. Blarg. Goodbye, Dragon Memnon. <clears throat> Genuinely, man, like. Delves! Ugh, Delves, dude. Whoops. I thought I was at the portal. Like, this right here is a prime example of what this update is actually going to be. Like, unless on the live server we're bunny hopping between portals, like, it actually might be more cost effective to just have, like, everybody, like, either share your portals or better yet, like, have separate groups that would just bunny hop from one to another. In fact, can you get world ID? Can you actually get a world ID and then leave the delve and come back? I want to test this right now. I never tried that, come to think of it. I'm assuming, like, I know as all players leave the delve, go to world... Oh, okay. I can't get back in. <laughs> Multi, if you don't mind inviting me back in. Or, uh, or Frog Prince. <laughs> well, that answers that. It did copy the world ID, which is funny. But yeah, otherwise, if I don't get back in there, I mean, I'm not going to put down our portal. <laughs> Ugh. Am I in hide mode? What? Oh, there we go. That's stupid. I was getting invites before. Or maybe I was getting friend invites before. I don't know. Either way. Thanks, Multi. I don't know why hide mode sometimes puts you in D&D. &D. Like, it's odd. Oh, dear lord. Empty rooms of creatures, huh? Did we finish? Is this the first room? No, this still isn't done. Oh, because they followed you into the next area. Right. Yeah, there's that one. Oh, the last one we didn't do. Ah, whatever. It's fine. We'll get it. Vertical rooms are so gross. Can you get Fiance Motes from U10? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. It's just from Sundered Uplands, like, in general. Um, that's where I've gotten most of mine. Like, you don't have to be in U11 specifically. And I don't think, don't quote me on this, but I don't think it makes a difference whether you're in U11 or not. Oh, U11 is better? Okay. I guess true, but I haven't really grinded it too much. U10, you never got one. Yeah, I mean, I don't... 
To be fair, I haven't gotten many of them. Like I'm still struggling on my Phoenix motes, which could be because the majority of my grinding is from U10 in Sundered Uplands. So yeah, that would make sense. Okay, this should be our last catastrophe portal or dungeon or whatever. Look out! Where's that fee key go, by the way? Like, is it in just our normal inventory? Yeah, it is. Used to unlock reinforced gemerald caches found within the hall. Uh huh. Where? Where are they, huh? Haven't seen a single one, bro. I don't even know why I'm collecting all these tokens. It's not like I'm going to be able to afford anything here on the test server. I guess just for the experiment of seeing how much can we get within um, an hour and a half. Not that I'm grinding this like super efficiently and frankly speaking, the coins keep respawning. So it would actually be most efficient to just go back and forth in this area. But again, I don't know if that's intentional. In fact, that might be why like the why they have so many things closed off on the test server currently. <clears throat> yeah, it's all good. Uh, it's all good, potato. Is there a damage cap to here, you mean, or just in general? Uh, eventually, as you've probably seen in U11 Five Star Sundered, you just get to the point where you don't have enough light to deal damage anymore. If that's what you're asking. Like in, I think it's like floor... 13 or 14 or something like that is when you stop having enough light in U11 Sundered 5 stars. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure. If any of you guys see one of these stupid chests, by the way, like, I want to experience it. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is where the merchant would be. Ew! So that means this is the only time we would have seen one of these guys? That's disgusting. Hmm. Because, yeah, the uh, merchant has been disabled. I don't know why. They're just having bugs, whatever. Oh, okay, so it wasn't floor four 14, it was 19. Yeah, that sounds about right. Still haven't seen one of these stupid boxes, yo. Ooh! My frame's starting to chug. Guess my rendering's having a big issue with the last video. Yikes. Yeah, U10 was like, I think maybe that's where I thought of 13, because I think it's uh, 83 or something is the highest I've gotten. I forget. It's not like it's super relevant. This is so much, like, nicer than the Delves, by the way, like... Oh, I just can't stress it enough, man. <laughs> just make this the Delves, please. Also, make that chest a guaranteed spawn uh, for every single floor devs, because I swear to God... You need the key to open the chest in the first place, so what's the harm in putting the chest in every floor? You're going to get more keys than you can spend. Like, that's how dumb this is. Alright, well, at least we got the big boy, boss. Hello, idiot. No, get over here, get in the nuke. Ah, I dodged it. Boo-hoo! <laughs> right, baby? Oh, look at that. A stupid personalized chest. Yeah, it's still PTS. Read the title. Hmm. 
<laughs> no, I didn't beat 16 already. Dude, that game's gonna take so long to beat. Oh, hey, look at that. We can actually make some of these guys. Interesting. Well, which one do you guys want me to grab here? Gives a small chance to get uh, dungeons. We could do that. Unlocks the ability to craft additional gem worlds. Mm. I'm kind of curious for this one just to see what does it cost to craft the gem world eyes? Or do we want to find out how many we get per dungeon? Hmm. Oh, do you already got the multi? Oh my god. Well, that ally is adorable. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so cursed. Stop standing on it! I'm gonna clip that guy. Ooh! That guy looks stupid too. Get out of the way, frog! That ally is so dumb. He just keeps wandering around on things. But that's cool. Wait, that's not the no. That's not the other ally. That's that ally already exists. We've already had this ally for years. What? Did they forget that there was an ally that already looks like that? Or is the point that it's just different colors? That's stupid. Yikes. Okay. Uh, that means, wait, which allies do you got then? That was this one, this one, so you don't have the stag or the little pottery guy. Would I be able to craft these? Nope, not without that and not without that. Oh, there's a ship, right, that's what they mentioned. They mentioned that there was a boat. Gross, look how much of these it costs. And out of an hour and a half, we only got three of these. Obviously it's RNG, but still. Let's grab this one. Screw it. I want to see. Okay, so it has to be equipped, I guess. Which is kind of stupid. And it's a cup of tea or monster energy drink just in a chalice. Okay whatever and then there's the crafting for it <laughs> for how many wait for one or for 500 if that's for 500 generals that's not that bad but i have a feeling it would only craft one that's not that bad if that's for 500 though. Uh, how much did this guy cost? Yeah, he was 1.2K, so we would have been able to afford this. I hope this doesn't change before it goes live because that's actually good. <laughs> I mean, the problem, okay. Lastly, before we call the stream, again, the biggest criticism is it seems like this resource is not the problem. That's just something that we can passively grind. This is the problem right here because it's RNG and we're probably going to end up having enough of these gemerald eyes. You know, this is overestimating. You could probably have enough gemerald's to craft everything before you have enough of these to craft everything. And not including the amount of fee keys that we'll end up having, right? Ah. Anyways, thank you all for coming out. Really appreciate it. Hope you had fun. Sign on. Stay up, gamers.